Let's take a look at the chip count at our main table, and Ramsey Jalassi is our chip leader there. He's got the big stack, 295,000. Eric Lindgren has not dropped below 100,000. The short stacks, Keith Sexton and Patrick Umerish. And remember, everybody's chasing the chip leader, Khan Angelakis. He has over 500,000 chips. Action here folds around to Jalassi. Jalassi looking at an ace five. Five and a half. Nice. And he's going to stay right on the gas as he raises it to 5,500. 10 5 for Morgan. He'll get rid of that. And it folds around to Keith Sexton with an ace queen. I think this is a spot for the short stack to just shove it all in. And Sexton's going to do just that. All in for 22,200 to Jalassi. I'll call. And he's going to call. Cool. It's going to cost him 16700 And those odds don't really warrant an instant call, but given Jalossi's huge chip position, I guess he feels willing to gamble. And here is the flop. Queen Jack 10 on the flop. Sexton likes it. And Jalossi probably has a better chance to tie here than he does to win. Yeah, draw. The turn is a seven of clubs. Great card for Jalossi. That's pretty sick. He picks up a flush draw. He's looking for a club to win or a king to chop. Not going to be. Ten of hearts. And Sexton will double up. I wish you had, le I wish you had more than I could fold. <laughs> well, Sexton doubles up to 47,500 to remain in the tournament. You know, for Keith, poker has always been a game which runs deep in his blood. And as of late, it's a skill that he's passing down to the next generation of Sextons. I'm, my name's Keith Sexton. I'm originally from Dayton, Ohio. I now live in Las Vegas. My name is Matt Sexton. I was born and raised in Las Vegas, and I uh, play poker for a living. Born and raised in the Sexton family, I guess it was my dad taught me for most of my life. My brother helped me play and learn, and my grandma as well. So it's been a poker family. You know, I never set out to teach him how to play poker. It just worked out that way. They both uh, were very interested, like all kids. Oh man, the first time I meet my dad in anything, I'm regardless of poker, the first time, I mean, you feel like you won the world. And sometimes when you're like eight or nine, you feel like you really won, you did something, you go to sleep better at night. But uh, yeah, even now, I guess, even now when you win, or even if you just prove that you made a better play at a hand, you feel, you feel pretty good about it. Yeah, you do. I think Matt and Paul are probably both better at Nolan than holding me. But I think they're younger, they got more heart, they're a little crazier. And I think Matt in particular, you know, you got to be insane to be a great Nolan and Holden player. I'm too old. Let's get down to two of us, say me and Matt. Got down to the final two of us, which would be, you know, pretty fun. I don't know. I'd almost hope he'd win. I'm actually kind of surprised. He, uh, he, he's, he's, he thinks he's good, so much better at everything. I'm surprised, but no, it's okay. He's being nice. He's being modest on TV, I guess. You love your kids. What can you do? It's unconditional, I guess. <laughs> and here's the Sexton family update. Keith just hanging on. Paul eliminated on day one. And there's a look at son Matt. He's been grinding away most of the day, pretty much like his father. He's going to kick in that hand, and he'll continue to hover just over 50,000 chips.